From April 14th through April 16th, 2010, Butler Community College was the host for the Congress to Campus Initiative. Former United States Representatives Peter Torkelson and Ken Heckler were the guests of the college. They spoke with student and faculty groups at the Andover and El Dorado campuses and at El Dorado High School. He'll be our guest, be our guest, be our guest, our guest, Morty's guest, take the best. The Congress to Campus program, which is sponsored by the United States Association of Members of Congress, is to get one Republican and one Democrat former member to visit campuses where they can encourage uh, the students to be active in some form of public service. When I was in Congress, it would have been impossible to ever stay at one campus for three days. You just never had that much time. Um, usually if you could stay for an hour at one place that was a lot of time. And so I thought well this is a really good way to give back to students, encourage them about the process. As a former teacher I am uh, very interested in the current opinions and principles of students and uh, this gives me an opportunity not only to affect people in my home state, my home area, but uh, all over the country. I've been as, as far west as the University of California at Berkeley, and uh, each experience is a challenging one and a different one, and it's been very exciting to be here at Butler Community College. The experience was great for our students, for our communities, for our faculty that participated. Um, I think the students really enjoyed the opportunity to meet and talk to former congressmen firsthand about their experiences and, and what, what they thought that um, students could do to become civically engaged. I can tell looking at some students, there's definitely going to be some people running and you know I've already met a few that if, if I had to say, you know, this person's going to be in office someday, I, I think I've already met a few like that. And that, that makes me feel good because the, the process isn't going to work just by having people my generation and older. You need people continually coming to be part of it. I mean, a democracy can't function without new blood coming in, both to run for office and to help candidates out. And I could just tell by the look in some of the kids' faces that indeed it, it's already in their mind that someday they may want to run for office. I just think that's terrific. It was a busy two days for the congressmen. Okay. They talked with Can students and faculty groups at the Andover and El Dorado campuses and paid a visit to El Dorado High School. Each visit featured political insight, priceless advice on the value of being politically involved, and a chance to ask them questions about current political events and how they can become more politically engaged. It's very enriching, personally, to be able to see the effect that you can have on students either running for office themselves or helping candidates that they believe in or even uh, participating in civil service positions in the federal, state, local government. You know, maybe someday some of you will want to run for office. Um, and hopefully many of you will, will seek out a candidate and help them out whether you want to run yourself someday or not. Uh, on your team, to seek what you're seeking, uh, the more likely it is that you'll succeed. Well, they probably uh, get a new insight into how exciting public service is and can be where you can actually be part of the process of change and also how you can carry out some of your own ideas and principle on issues. There's no magic to who gets elected to office. It's people in your community who decided that they wanted to change something. That's usually how it starts. And they run for office, sometimes they run for local, sometimes state, sometimes federal office, but it usually starts with someone saying, the current situation is not right, or the current situation could at least be better than it is right now, and, and how are we gonna make that happen? Uh -oh. I remember when I was in basic training in the Army, we had a battalion commander who said, when you're in my battalion, you can't get away with doing your best. You've got to do better than your best. And 
That's what intensity is. It's terrific. It's a very exciting school. It's, it's a very large community college, um, uh, a very diverse uh, student body, um, people from many, many states, and that's not something I'm used to seeing. Uh, community colleges in Massachusetts tend to have mostly, almost all uh, students from Massachusetts, and it's interesting that way. The students we've met with are both traditional as well as non-traditional students, um, different uh, areas of interest, some public speaking, uh, some in, in government and history, some in sociology, so different backgrounds and, and really interesting the questions that, that we've been getting. I think that it will help students to maybe see that they do have a voice in the community and that their vote, um, if nothing else, um, civically will help and create the kind of future that they're wanting. So I think that that was a real eye-opener to some of the students that participated. When uh, other congressmen, uh, Republicans, uh, have been with me, why we always reflect on the fact that uh, you have to be able to get along along party lines, uh, uh, not uh, with your own party, but with people of the other party. And uh, this, is, this is something which uh, I think we're able to point out is possible if you have a will to uh, get along rather than a, a will to oppose. One of the things that they're hoping to do is to leave a legacy and to civically engage people in the political process and in being a public servant. Ken's an amazing person. I mean, you know, it's like opening up a chapter book to U.S. history. And, you know, all of his memories, they are still so crisp and clear. It's, it's, it's to me amazing. He remembers so vividly. This trip, in particular, has been uh, as much of an education for me as, as, as I hope we've been helping uh, the students with. One of the things that really uh, made an impression to me and some of the students was that he actually marched with Martin Luther King in Selma, Alabama. And that, you know, is history in itself. And for him to be able to explain his feelings and what he thought of that experience was really great. Um, so much more memorable than a textbook could ever teach you. You know, that was just phenomenal. These, uh very important things that have happened have been seared into my memory. I'm very lucky at the age of 95 to be able to have an excellent memory and uh, I realize that uh, these are good dramatic illustrations which will help students understand uh, how important it is to stand on principle. It's a way to give back and, and it's a perfect way for, for all of us to share what the experience was like.